There's the clarinet. So that is uh, Carl Maria von Weber, and I am Professor Brian Garner. And I teach writing. I'm here to talk about the art of revision and rewriting. You know, this morning I was working on one of my books. I have about 25 books in print. I, I write a lot. I write a lot of letters. I write a lot of reports. I write legal briefs. But I'm always working on a book or two. and. This morning, as I was working on draft number 101, <laughs> which is kind of typical for me, I was thinking, you know, the average writer might have no idea what goes into creating really primo work product. Now, for a book, I mean, this is a book, it's, it's typographically complicated. Um, it has some things going on in the margins as well as a main text block. It has a lot of art in it. It's a book on the history of English grammar. But I have to worry about every little heading, making sure the headings are placed right, but that the headings are worded just right. The index itself is, uh, this is a sample of the index. The index is a hundred and not, not 23 pages, just 23 pages, but you know, kind of uh, small type. Anyway, I revise a lot and you know, very important justice of the US Supreme Court in the early 20th century, uh, Louis Brandeis said, there is no such thing as good writing, only good rewriting. And that is a very important truth. A lot of people say they don't know how to rewrite, they don't know how to revise, or when they revise, it gets worse. Well, that's bad. It's very bad. I mean, it's saying you can't write if you, if you revise things and it gets worse. So I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the writing process and about revision and give you some good advice, I think. Uh, first of all, in terms of the writing process, Try to figure out what your main points are in advance for nonfiction. I'm a nonfiction writer. I wouldn't presume to uh, opine about not about fiction, but I think a lot of this probably works there as well. But certainly for nonfiction, figure out what your points are. Um, ha try to have at least three of them and then get it down quickly. Compose as best you can, compose furiously revise slowly, edit slowly, but try to get your first draft down. Once you figure out what your points are, write it down very quickly and then, and then weigh your words. Now let's talk about revising. You've got a, you've got a draft. Assume you just adopt a legal, not a legal fiction, a fiction, um, may or may not be true, that there is an ideal, a perfect way of saying something. You wanna be explicit, but once you have got the draft, then you start thinking, is there a, a better way of saying this? And by the way, have you said what you intended to say? A lot of people write something and then only later realize they never quite said what they set out to say. So don't be roundabout, be explicit and approach revision playfully. Is there a better way to say this? Is there a shorter way to say this? Is there a more interesting way to say this? Is it phrased just right? Don't trouble yourself about whether you're phrasing it just right when you're composing. That is a major cause of writer's block. If you don't know how to start revising, just try saying it differently. Hunt for synonyms. Uh, try alternative wordings. Cut an adjective here, a preposition there. Cut a whole sentence. See whether you're improving it. Learn to savor words. What? So what is the main rule of revision? Exercising taste, cultivating 
and exercising literary taste. Remember, if you're if you want writing instruction and you're a lawyer or a judge, go to uh, Law Pros, L A W P R O S E dot org, Law Pros dot org. We have what we think is the finest suite available online for instruction and writing. And remember this: fall in love with language; it will always love you back. A little more Carl Maria von Weber. Thank you.